Today we get to look at some worked examples on pressure in liquids. Right before us we have a number with uh, we have a liquid water right here. We have paraffin here and mercury right there. We are being required to find the value of x, the height of water in this limb. Now, for us to be able to find the height of water in this limb when they've given us the density of water and the density of mercury, you, uh, we know that for this thing to balance, first of all, the pressure in this limb must be equal to the pressure in this other limb. That's the principle we use. And we said that uh, since this is open and this one it's open, so it means that the pressure in this limb is going to be the pressure of that column of mercury or column of whatever liquid there plus the atmospheric pressure because the atmospheric pressure is also acting on top of that limb and so is this side that the pressure is of that limb plus the atmospheric pressure acting on top because the limb or oh, it is open now to find the value of x therefore you realize that as far as this matter is concerned this level is the same these things are at the same level right here so it means that the if they are at the same level, it means that the pressure exerted at this level is the same as the pressure exerted at that level. So, therefore, it follows that to find the value of x, therefore, it's going to be the pressure this side is equal to the pressure that side. And the pressure this side is going to be the pressure exerted by this column of water plus, hat, plus h, which is the atmospheric pressure, is going to be equal to the pressure exerted by this column of water plus h, we, where h is our atmospheric pressure. So, it start working. So pressure, let's call this side A and this side B. So pressure at side A is going to be equal to pressure at side B. Now pressure at side A is going to be the pressure of this column of mercury, I mean this column of water, which is going to be height times the density of the water times gravity is going to be equal to the pressure of this column of paraffin, which is going to be the height of this paraffin this is height of paraffin, this is height of water. Height of paraffin times the density of the paraffin times the gravity. Plus, this is plus atmospheric pressure, by the way. Even here, this is plus H. Where capital H is the atmospheric pressure up here and here. So when we go ahead, we are interested in finding X. And X is the height of the water column. So this, it follows that H, which is the height of the water column, is X times the density of water times gravity plus the atmospheric pressure on top h is equal to height of paraffin times uh, density of paraffin times gravity plus h so of course now this h and that h we, we, we seek to find x to make x the subject of this formula so it means we need to transfer that h to go that side so it means it's going to remain with x times density of water times gravity is going to be equal to hp rho uh, density of paraffin times gravity plus h. When this h moves this side, it becomes minus h. So of course, these two h's are going to die. You remain with this. So when we make x the subject of the formula, x is therefore going to be height of paraffin times density of paraffin times gravity. Divide that by... Uh, density of water times gravity. This g and that g gravity is 10. So they will both cancel out. So our value of x therefore is going to be the height of paraffin. The height of paraffin is 20 centimeters. But remember our density has been given in grams per centimeter. Uh, 0 0.8 paraffin is 0 0.8 grams per centimeter. So it means we shall maintain the centimeters. We won't convert it to meters as a result. So it means this is going to be uh, height of paraffin is 20 centimeters. Multiply that by the density of paraffin, which has been given in the question as 0.8 grams per centimeter. Divide that by the density of water, which is 1.0 grams per centimeter. And of course here, our answer will end up being 16 centimeters. So 16 centimeters therefore becomes the value of x of that. In this number, we are being required to find the gas pressure. We are having a gas here that is trapped. It is trapped into this uh, J column, or J, I mean J tube. 
So it is being trapped by a certain column of mercury and we are being told that the atmospheric pressure is 1.0 times 10 to the power 5 newtons per meter. What is the gas pressure? So the gas pressure here, this, uh, this pre gas is exerting pressure at this point. So if it is exerting pressure at that point, it means that that level, the pressure at this point is going to be the same as the pressure at that point. So the pressure of the gas at that point is going to be equal to the pressure at this point. And the pressure at this point is equivalent to the pressure of this column plus the atmospheric pressure since this side is open. So it's going to be equal to the pressure exerted by the column of mercury plus the atmospheric pressure, capital H. So to get the pressure of this gas, therefore, is going to be the pressure of this column, which is height times density times gravity plus the atmospheric pressure. And that's going to be now that this height is in 20 centimeters. But uh, since the atmospheric pressure we are going to deal with is in newtons per meter, and the density of the material is in kilograms per meter, so therefore the height, we need to change it to meters. So it means that 20 centimeters is going to be 20, converted to meters, which is divide that by 100, multiply that by the density of this, which is 1.36 times 10 to the power 4. Uh, that is going to add plus the atmospheric pressure, which is given as 1.0 times 10 to the power 5. And of course here our answer is going to be 1.27 times 10 to the power 5 newton per meter squared. And this is the pressure of the gas in that tube.